Hi, today I want to show you how to use the MSP430 FRAM Experimenters board and the CC3000 module to send an email. The following hardware is required for this demo. FRAM Experimenters board, CC3000 module, and a Wi-Fi access point connected to the internet. If you do not have CCS or IAR installed on your PC, you will need to download and install the Launchpad UART drivers for this demo. You will also need to download and install the CC3000 simple email demo by visiting our wiki page and downloading the CC3000 SDK. Download the patch programmer for the MSP EXP 430FR5739 board and the SDK. Fill in the required fields for each to download the software. Once you have downloaded both, install them on your computer by following the on-screen instructions. For the Smart Config tool, you have three options available. Visit the iTunes Store and install the free TI Smart Config app. You can also visit our wiki page to download the Android APK file for your Android device or the Java applet for your desktop. For this demo, we will be using an iOS device and downloading the Smart Config app from the iTunes Store. For more details on installing the Smart Config tool on an Android device or a PC, visit the detailed instructions set at ti.com backslash lit backslash pdf backslash slab 066. Next, we will need a hyperterminal program to enter commands to the experimenters board. We have chosen a free terminal called PuTTY. To send an email, we will need an email service that does not require authentication. We have decided to use a free account from SMTP to go. Sign up for a free account at smtpcorp.com backslash sign up. To disable authentication with SMTP to go, log in and select settings, more, address authentication, and enter the sender's email address. Connect the CC3000 module to the FRAM experimenters board as follows. Note that the chip antenna is facing inwards. Now connect the USB cable to the experimenters board. Now connect it to your PC. If you do not have CCS or IAR already installed, you will need to install the UR drivers once the device is recognized by the PC. By double-clicking the newly recognized device, we can install the UR drivers. Next, we need to identify the COM port assigned to the experimenters board. Make a note of which COM port it is connected to. With the drivers installed, we can now flash the CC3000 with the drivers and firmware as well as flash the application code to the MSP430. To do this, select Start, All Programs, CC3000 Patch Programmer, MSP430 FR5739, Download Driver Patches, and follow the on-screen instructions. Note the driver patch must be installed first. Repeat the previous step for the firmware patch. Click Start, All Programs, CC3000 Patch Programmer, MSP430 FR5739, download firmware patches, and follow the on-screen instructions. And finally, we can flash the MSP430 with the simple email demo code by clicking Start All Programs CC3000 SDK MSP430 FR5739, download simple email binary, and follow the on-screen instructions. Source code for the CCS and IAR are also available for you to make modifications. Now let's configure PuTTY. Open PuTTY and select Terminal in the category column on the left side of the window. Select Force On for local echo. Select Serial in the category column and enter the following in the fields. Serial line to connect to COM port of the experimenters board. Speed, 9600, data bits, 8, stop bits, 1, parity, none, and flow control, none. Select session in the category column and select serial for the connection type. Now click open to begin the session. To display the application version and commands, press the reset button on the experimenters board. Scroll up to see the printout from the board. 
If you do not see the printout, try restarting PuTTY. Now we need to connect our iOS device to the Wi-Fi router. Now open the Smart Config app. If properly connected to the router, the SSID and gateway IP addresses should be automatically filled in. Provide a password or key if required and hit the start button at the bottom to begin transmitting the router information to the CC3000. Type 01 in the terminal to start Smart Config on the experimenter's board. As Smart Config receives the information from the iOS device, you will see a series of LEDs blinking and turning on. Wait until LEDs 1, 2, 3, and 6 are solid. This means the CC3000 has successfully connected to your desired router and the terminal should now display the assigned IP address. Now let's send an email. In the terminal window, type 02, smtpcorp.com, 2525, sender email address. Then hit enter. If the syntax is correct, you should see OK displayed below your line. Next type 03, comma, the receive email address, comma, the subject, then hit enter. Next, type 04, comma, now type your message and hit enter. Finally, type 05 to send the email. If done correctly, you should see LED7 blink and the terminal return message sent. Congratulations, you have just successfully sent an email using the MSP430 FR5739 Experimenters Board and the CC3000 module. For more information, visit our wiki at processors.wiki.ti.com backslash index.php backslash CC3000. Detailed instructions for this demo are available at ti.com backslash lit backslash PDF backslash SLAB066. Thanks for watching.